I'm going to do a weekly vlog. I'm going to try and start doing these every week now. I am committing to doing the weekly vlog. Today it is Thursday. So I'm sort of starting it in the middle of the week. I'm going to the Eye of the Asia today. I'll show you the outfit of the day. I'm wearing a little black long sleeve. This is my absolute staple top. I have this in white, black and blue. And then a little green skirt from Shein. And then my little black bag as well. This year has been the worst year of my life in every single way you can imagine. I wasn't able to walk for two months because I was in a boot, like an air cast boot. Had a friendship breakup and now I've had a normal breakup. 10 out of 10 year from me, top score. Can't wait for the rest of it. I did take some clips of the Jubilee weekend. I know that was such a while ago, but it was quite nice, quite a nice weekend. I had quite a traumatic experience with the bird. Horrendous. We saw the Jubilee footage now. The little lady in m &S gave me a sticker for my hand saying the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. I am on theme. I'm this really cute little festival thing on the South Bank. We've got us a jug of pims, and then I don't really know what it's called, but it's really nice. There's just loads of stuff, and when you go down there, you can see the London Eye. Good morning, it's the next day. This is not the way I would like to have started the vlog, but I'm having a bit of oh my god, I'm having a bit of drama. So, the cat, let's shut this so that the bird can't escape has literally brought in. Oh, Kelly, just get it, please. Oh my God, oh my God. Kelly, get it and take it out now. I don't know what to do. And she's just there watching it. Oh, I've made my decision. I'm gonna call the RSPCA. Good morning, Pet Doctor My cat's brought in like a really, really big bird. Not really big, but like an arm sized bird. Um, do you know what kind of bird it is? Mm, Kelly, no, oh my god, sorry, hold on, the cat, um, oh, for god's sake, sorry, the cat is got, hold on, let me just control the cat. <laughs> well, usually we'd probably just have to put the bird to sleep. The conclusion from the call is that I'm going to take it to the vets and get it put to sleep, but I need now operation, get it in a cage. No, Kelly, go away. I put it in here and I'm going to take it to the vets now. So... Rest in peace, little birdie. It's like five o'clock now, and I'm about to go out for tapas with one of my friends. I'm really excited because I just love picky bits. This is just the outfit of the night, and I'll show you the tapas when we get it. Oh, that's like a whiny pimp. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Give it a crack. Yay! <laughs> Let's go to the Ivy Asia and meet the girls. Welcome to the weekly vlog. Hope you enjoy. My new car is coming in about a month, so it doesn't matter that I'm showing the number plate. But how absolutely disgusting is my car? I can't get over the colour that it is. Look. You just. It's awful. It's because I keep it under this big tree here. So even if I get it washed within about a day it gets into this day we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to get it cleaned on this vlog as well I'm absolutely so angry. I've literally just gotten in my car. You know when you're driving, like you look from here out, like I never look really there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is a huge crack all up my windscreen. You can't see it. <sighs> I've never had a crack on my windscreen before, so I don't know if that's expensive or not. I'm guessing you have to have the whole windscreen replaced. My gauge was, it was nice, it was like, good but it wasn't anything special you know when you go to the ivy you expect 
something really nice and it was it was nice but it was it was very underwhelming we got i don't think i videoed at all because i was so hungry what they kept doing was they bring one dish literally one dish so we ordered about six dishes like to share in between each dish was like 10, 20 minute wait so you couldn't eat i like eating everything together we ordered tempura prawns fiery edamame beans it was basically edamame beans with salsa on peanut chicken satay skewers i didn't really like them because the chicken you know a chicken isn't doesn't give you chicken vibes it gives you like squidgy stringy vibes it's like a bit too chickeny if you know you know prawn dumplings i didn't video them but they were really really yum got these little like mochi ice creams at the end which were yum too gonna watch some love island take off my makeup even though i've barely got anything on and have a protein pud we haven't been on the vlog since i found them they're insane sprays i know on tiktok all over tiktok is the little the little chocolate protein pods but these ones from sainsbury's sainsbury's are chef's kiss there is that that line is this is cracked oh that's horrendous it's huge i've got my little protein pod this is what i was talking about it is incredible 14 grams of protein but let's open it together with the if i can do it oh god it's so thick I'm gonna watch Love Island on my little iPad. I'm absolutely obsessed with it this year. I just think it's so drama filled. I feel like I haven't watched it for the last maybe like three, three years. I haven't watched it since the series with Kem and Kristen, I think. Now I'm too invested to stop. And tomorrow, I'm going to London, like I said, with my friend in the day that I haven't seen for like five years. So I'm really excited about that. And then in the morning, I'm going to the doctor for my, it's meant to be my last consultation. Before we go into deep conversation about the doctor's appointment, I'll just try a bit of my yogurt. Mm. My ankle, I have something called tendocinivitis, FHL, flexor hallus longus, tendocinivitis. It's a bit of a mouthful. Seven, eight months ago, I kept saying in all of my videos, oh, my ankle's hurting, my ankle's hurting. And I was just like, oh, it's, I just thought it will get over it, you know? Like, it's not a big deal. It was a big deal. It was like middle of February. Beginning of February, I couldn't walk. I, I was literally, I was limping everywhere. So I went to the, like the private doctors because i could not for the life of me get an nhs doctor's appointment so i had to do it privately and he was like this is not good you've got tendonitis in your ankle but they didn't know which part of my ankle it was so i had to get mri scans to be in a boot for eight weeks me and this boot we were like in a long-term relationship we were committed to each other i did not go anywhere without my little boot and in april i had to have a steroid injection into my ankle I did it under ultrasound so i just lied there like if you're having a pregnancy scan i literally did that and he scanned all over my ankle found where the inflammation was of like the tendonitis injected steroids into my leg but i know me and my luck i had something called a cortisol flare and i'm going to physio now i've been going to physio for like two months and i love my physio so much because it just cheers me up he's like my physio and my therapist all in one I'm gonna watch love island now go to bed and i've also got my little oh that's very hot peppermint tea we have arrived like i said we're at the hospital now we're going for my consultation with my doctor and it's really funny my doctor's name is dr Wee, and my physio's name is dr lee and they both have the same first name very coincidental I obviously like the the names ending with the e's I almost cried when I was in there with him, but I had to pull myself back together. My ankle still isn't better, and it's been six months. He said it will heal eventually, but he said I need to go for another ultrasound, have another steroid injection. And these steroid injections are, like, not just a normal little jab. Like, they're really intense on your whole body, so it's not good for you. And if it's still not better after that, then I have to have surgery. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. Whenever I go to the doctor's, I always feel like I'm about to cry. It's just so disappointing. Sunglasses on. If you put your sunglasses on, no one can see you're crying. I'm going to go home now, go to London, meet my friend and have a nice day. I've been reading this book recently. It's incredible. It's changed my whole perspective on the life. And he says, what you look at, what you focus on is what you feel and what your emotions are. And if I'm focusing on the fact that I might have to have surgery in a few months, I'll feel shit and i'll be sad so if we focus on the fact that it is getting a little bit better i'm about to go into london i'm so lucky that i have a friend to go and see i'm grateful i have the money to do this and go out for lunch then i'm focusing on how lucky i am and then it changes your perspective and puts you in a better state and i feel like i'm in a better state now semi not really but we'll pretend it's all about the mind you just gotta fake it till you make it <laughs> 
is the book I was talking about in the car. It's called Anthony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within. And it basically has different chapters, different things. So unleash your power, taking control in master system, the seven days to shape your life. And it basically gives you all of the tools and necess like things you need to really make your life incredible. I've only read like 255 pages recommend for anybody everybody and anybody i'm ready to go to london i've got on it's actually quite a cute little outfit just like a little top let's do an outfit of the day here <laughs> little plt top and then some flared trousers recently i've been loving a different type of jean i'm usually a skinny jean queen till i die i don't see the mum jeans because i'm so long we're going to somewhere called knack in mayfair very fancy i've seen so many people go there i've seen like sid may crouch go there like spray and change it all the time so we were like we must go there there's the tube train strikes today so i don't know how lucky i'm gonna be with getting to london on the train and on the tube but you know what yolo live in the moment <laughs> I've arrived in London like half an hour early. I think I was just getting myself a bit whacked up because of these train strikes. So I thought I'll take the opportunity, go into Zara for 20 minutes while so late. Everywhere has summer sales today. I need to take advantage of these summer sales. The best summer sale, girls, anyone interested, Dune. Dune shoes, look the best of the best. How funky these trousers are. These literally remind me of like a Disco Inferno or something. Quite cool. Very patterny. That was a very hectic Zara experience. I feel like as it was sale, it was just there was no structure in the shop. I couldn't deal with it. It's like in TK Maxx when everything is just jumbled up. I just I need the structure of the shop. I've never. I don't think I've been down this road before. But Rocker, that's meant to be a really a nice. I think it's like an asian -y style restaurant, maybe Japanese. Here we are. Here is that. Super pretty. home from London I decided not to go back into the shops after I've had my lunch just because it was so busy and I was so worried about these train strikes I got my old poly parcel you know when you do an order and it's not actually on next day delivery you sort of forget about it I don't know how I possibly forgot about it I thought it'd be quite nice to do a little unboxing this is all bow and tea so this is all sports I've had my sports bras it's probably like a little bit unhygienic I've had them for a good three years maybe obviously i washed them i haven't got new ones and i really always sweat when i go to the gym firstly i got oh this was it so it's basically a one-sided sports bra it's got padding in. i love it when they have padding and when they don't have it in i'm really subconscious because obviously when you get cold you get the little nip slips there's a girl in my gym yeah and she always comes in and she wears these bright pink mini shorts and they just look incredible and i get really jealous so i'm like you know what? buy yourself some hot pink shorts i thought these with the one-sided black crop top would look very good a really cute little purple t-shirt i always wear crop tops like sports bras in the gym i never actually wear tops and sometimes you know i just get a little bit self-conscious sometimes i want to cover up a little bit more they only had it left in a medium but i think i'll fit into a medium cute the only problem is these two are different shades of pink, so I don't think they'll go. But this would probably go with some nice black shorts. Lastly, oh, I like this. Little black overhaul hoodie. Love it. I'm going to Barcelona with my friend Sophie, who I haven't seen in 10 years. I haven't even spoken to her properly in 10 years. We decided to do like a really spontaneous, and we're going to Barcelona. I bought loads of really, really cute like case stickers to put on my case because my case is literally just a plain blue case when it goes round the only thing that i can identify about it is that i have a pink little string on the end of it so i just invest in some stickers don't well, not it wasn't an investment it was about 70p per sticker i got some phone cases and because it's my birthday i got some birthday cocoa can you hear that 
my mum is listening to a yoga show but yeah i think i'm gonna stop this vlog here and continue it tomorrow when i go to the spa and then have my pre b-day week vlog thank you very, very much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you i'll continue this tomorrow so i'll see you very shortly love you